Hi, in this video we're going to show you about our new coming 4K60 4x4 semi switcher mattress switcher with the video function and also the uh, multi viewer. So here we have the mattress switcher. Basically on the front panel we have the LCD screen. Then you can support the IR remote control and then input output buttons. You can support the fast switching by just pressing the input. But we also have the lock button here. So we can just unlock the front buttons. Then now we can just do the controllings. Like right now, if we have the uh, output one, and then we can have it all showing up the input one. So input one, and the input, input one, output three, input one, output four, input one. So this one is actually, we call it uh, two buttons for switching. Just select the output, then press the output, then we can get the switchings. Let's like one, go to the input two, Okay, on this side we got the uh, re presets, recall, and then we got the menu button, and we have the down, up, and also lock button. If we didn't want to use the front buttons, we can just press and hold lock button until it light up. Now we cannot do the any switchings. So this one we call it lock, lock, lock the front push buttons. So on the back side right now we can see we have uh, four HDMI inputs, then with the audio embedded in, and then we have the audio out, either by the 3.5 audio or by the SPDF. And those audio are the breaker audio. Basically, we can just do the audio switching independently, uh, separate from the video. And then for the country, we have the Oster 2 or the uh, TCP IP. So now I'm going to use the TCP IP country uh, on this PC here. So on this PC right now we're already logged in and this is the WebGUI country and basically we can see we have the fast setting and uh, means we can do the switchings. If like right now we want to have the input one switch to all the outputs, just press the all button and right now we can see on the screen. So if I switch to the uh, input two, okay, we'll just zoom a little bit, then we can check it out. So input two, input three, and input 3, right now we have a uh, 4K60 inputs, and yeah, input 4, 3, so as we can see, it can, it can support the uh, simply switching. Input 2 is from the uh, Apple TV, that it's going to the sleep mode, that's why it's not showing up. Okay. So this is the web guide for the fast switching, but we also can just switch one by one, like this, screen 2, screen four. Screen four, right? Okay. So now we have the four screens shown differently. Except this one, we also got the uh, presets here. If you want to just call the presets, like right now, preset one, you can use the uh, core view on each screen. And then we have the preset two, which is showing up as a two by two video wall. So now we can just switch to the uh, different inputs as well. And preset three, we have a one by two video wall, and which is showing the uh, input two. And we have preset four, showing up like two uh, one by two video wall. And preset five, showing as the mattress switcher. Preset six, showing out as the court view, and then we have the uh, input 1, preset 7, and preset 8. And those are showing as the uh, core view. Okay, so except that one, we also got the uh, information on the about the inputs and output. Right now for the outputs and for outputs, we are using the 1080p and for the input, we have a 720p input and we also have a 4K 59Hz and we have a 4K 60Hz and also we have a 1080p 50Hz. And this one is about the setting and then we have the basic setting mainly for us to do the uh, patterns, output pattern, like the output one, we can just choose uh, like any of the screen. 
Then this one is the testing output button. And we can just have it disabled. And we also can just have the uh, video off or on. Right. This one is for the uh, video on and off. We can on off only one screen, but we also can just off all the uh, screens. And then on this side, we have the audio and the video selections and output setting. So we can fix, fix the output resolution as the 4K60, 4K30, or the other different resolutions. We can just have all the outputs set to the same, or we can set up the output one by one. And here we have the input settings, including change the input, um, input names here. And then also the pattern as well, video on and off. And we have the EDID settings here. And then this one, we got the presets. It can support up to 23 pre uh, 22 presets. And we can just record or clear them. And then we have the advanced setting. Advanced setting mainly for us to do the uh, EDID copy from the display or import or export. And on this side, we got the crop function. And system settings, basically we can change the uh, IP address. And also we can just do the uh, configuration export or import. Okay, so this one is about the web GUI, except that one we also got the IR remote control. So for the IR remote control, we can just check it out. And we can have it standby. And then power it back. So except this one, we also got the mount button here, which is for us to do the uh, preset recalling as well. Just wait a little bit until it's back. Okay, so we just change it to a different OK modes, court view, as the uh, video wall, to back to video wall. We also can just switch to different inputs. Can switch to all input one, or input three, input four. So this one is about the. Uh, we also got the OSD. If you know on the OSD, you can just press this button, can off the OSD functions, and then we have the. Uh, we can just freeze the video. This one is to freeze the video, and unfreeze it. Freeze, unfreeze. This one is to off these displays. Uh, this one is to off the video, the outputs. Turn the outputs, freeze, unfreeze. And uh, here we also got the other settings, like this one is the same for the uh, different layouts. to the video. We also have this one to switch one by one and uh, switch to all the outputs as the input one. Okay, so this is our new coming uh, 4K60 for inputs and for outputs with the video wall and simply switching and also the uh, code view. Okay, thank you.